Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Eastern and um, I hope you're all keeping safe and well and uh, trying to avoid uh, this COVID virus which is uh, still going round um, there's quite a few of us who have had it now um, so hence why we're here um, we're not in the loft, we're not in Kansas anymore um, no, let me rephrase that. We're not in the mini world of the North Eastern anymore. Um, we're down downstairs, and uh, I've decided to look and draw out this building in front of us. Now, some of you may recognise it already. It's been mentioned a few times in previous videos. Now this is Jarrow Station, um, it's the old Victorian building as it was in the 1950s before it was pulled down in the 1960s. Now interesting facts about this station, it was built seven years before South Shield Station was built. Um, the line between Newcastle and South Shields was opened in 1872 and this station was opened then. Now you could get a train into South Shields but it would only go as far as High Shields because it took another five to six years to build the, the main um, station in South Shields which was at uh, Mile End Road. Um, so yeah. As you know that uh, the station I propose to build, well it's a terminus station as well. Now in real life Jarra Road was a through station. So there was another building, I'm not sure what it was like, but on the other side of the, the um, tracks as it were. But I think it was a very low relief. Um, but we'll, we'll come on to that in a minute. Um, yes, this station. Um, the features uh, I want to pick out from the station is the main building itself. This small building. And I'll copy that on the other side. Obviously we've got space restriction. I've only got 218 millimeters to play with um, with a depth of 95 millimeters so there's not a lot of room but I'm hoping to pick out the main design of this building including the large chimney pot here which I will replicate put on the other side. Now interesting things about this photograph the the old scammel truck just there. Now this van here, I think this van here right on the very left is a milk van with the uh, open sides I'm sure of it. Now here we have looks to be if you zoom in closely this yeah that says gentleman and I'm wondering if that's uh, well you know what it is if it says gentleman it's got to be an outside loo rather than being on the on the, on the station pla uh, platforms itself so yeah what I like about this building is we have a circular window here and this Whacking great arch around here. And three, it looks like very large windows. Now, this section here I'll probably have to scratch a build. I could probably get away with using large ready made windows for these two windows here, which I'll replicate again on the other side. Um, yeah, I think that would work. Um, I know you can buy this kit, I've, I've seen it advertised, I think it's scale models um, do it, which are actually based in Jarrah, 
Um, but, uh, well, to buy the kit, I'd lose half the building, so I might as well just make it. Here we have a another photograph. I think this one may have been taken slightly earlier because you can still see the old type Northeastern Railway semaphores there in the background. And now we know that the chimney here is a square chimney, not a hexagonal chimney. So which which is good. This photograph is a better photograph, which is shows more detail um, it's slightly almost face on you can actually see the three large windows a lot lot better and the circular window underneath the arch um, yeah so if you can imagine this section and this section up to the end of the pencil gone that will give you an idea of what I'm trying to build. So let me just put these two pieces of paper in front. So that's what I'm aiming to build. That little section in there. And here's what it looks like um, on the platform sides. Um, What's interesting about this is the, the steel girders that run right across from one corner of the um, apex balances, if you like, to the other, right away through onto the cast iron, iron columns. Um, yeah, so that, that would be a, a, an interesting feature too try and copy um, later later photographs don't show that they show the all this removed all this gone even the canopies yeah so, so I just thought I'd show you that because uh, I'd like to replicate these canopies not sure about the the truss has gone right away across though, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Jarrow station photographs are very, very hard to come by. There's very, very few out there. Um, I'm just guessing it wasn't um, that well photographed. Um, no matter what search engine you use, whether you use Bing, Chrome, or Google, I always end up with the, the same handful of photographs. Anyway, this one shows all the canopies, like you saw in the last photograph, all gone. The ironwork, the, 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 the glass um, canopies, the fascias, all gone. Um, you might see little glimpses where it may have been um, maybe there that looks like a very faint line it might have come out from there gone across from this ridge here but um, yeah so the the main feature platform side when I start we'll be looking at this area here and what I might intend to do is to build the wall up flat so I can come off it, if you know what I mean, with a canopy rather than having an, a long slope here like we've got. But uh, we shall see, we shall see in the design stage. But this photograph does show this chimney, so I can replicate that, that's not, not a problem. Um, I noticed that skylights here is in the middle. And when you go to the other side, you've got a skylight there and a skylight there. Um, I don't know why they've done that. Um, but yeah, that's an, an interesting feature to add to the building. And also, where we've got the windows on the far side, I shall bring them through to this side. 
um, looks like the circular window that was there has been bricked up so I will put that back in on that side as well so yeah so this is going to be uh, quite an interesting build so after a few hours I've come up with these drawings um, this is the front elevation um, of Jarrah Road um, it's going to give me a, a half decent idea of what it's going to look like um, we've got this large um, a stone fascia there which the whole building is going to sit on it's going to be brick but uh, this is going to be like a sandstone uh, with a staircase which you won't see because that's going to be inside going up into the station um, I'm going to cut away the, the brickwork here and here and put in these columns on either side but yet again that's going to sit flush in with the brickwork um, you can probably see this low wall here now that's going to come down a little bit more because uh, I've still got to work out the height of how the canopies are going to work that run along the platform um, that's something I've got to uh, work on these stone finials, there'll be four of these there'll be two at this end of the station and two at the other end where the um, where the, the apex roofs will finish um, yeah this is a lot, lot different for shield, from shields definitely because um, I'm going to use pre-made parts uh, mainly from smart models the doors will be smart models they will just fit in there um, the, the, the window at the top yeah, if you look at the photograph, it's just a round window with a, with a, a cross window frame. I'm just going to use this IP66 uh, uh, rated um, fiber washer. You can get these with normal um, glands. And basically what I'll do is I'll just glue a, a cross into the center of that. And that will set in to the brick from behind the sheet. So it might even be smaller than this. I just want to try and catch that front edge. So the first couple of rims will be glued into the brick. So that the window will be slightly smaller than what I've got in my hand. So with that aside, I think that will look pretty good. With this being brick, stone, 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 um, I might even stone the cap that'll be stone stone down the sides there that'll be stone so it's, it's going to give it uh, quite a unique look um, yeah so that's one of what I wanted to pinch from the Jaro or Jaro station but I, I've tweaked it a little bit that's not on the station definitely because it's just straight brick but I just thought I'd add it a little bit of an individual um, touch to it. So that's the front elevation. Side elevations. Um, is slightly newly, unique because you can see the finial there. And this pattern is more or less what I've taken from South Shields. On the beast, on the platform 2 or what I call the B side. Um, if I can just separate them up into segments, there'll be a couple of um, doors which will open out onto the main road because there'll be a road here. And then we'll have these twin windows segments as it goes along. This is just to give me a rough idea. Um, the height of this wall is roughly um, 100 millimeters high. So that should give me enough space to, or enough height to give me for the, the canopy steelworks plus uh, a canopy going up and then back down again. But uh, we'll have to see 
how that works out as and when we build it. Um, yes, the only thing I'll have to make here it would be the doors, uh, the two large windows front and back. Um, because these large windows here, these are well, this type of windows, which are resin. Uh, you can pick them up on eBay, they're quite uh, cheap. I paid about £2 something for about 10 of them, I think. Worked out about 4 quid in, in total for postage. So all they need doing is just painting. And they're going to go two by two in there and so on. Now, the other wall on the far side, as you, um, I might not put anything in there except possibly um, a couple of posters, maybe the odd window, uh, because obviously you're going up against a brick wall on Stevenson's bank, so you won't be able to see it. So here we have the, the heights of the chimneys, proposed heights, but that could change. Uh, it's all about getting the proportions to look right. And uh, judging by the size of that chimney there, I think that's way, way, way too big. I'm going to have to come down on the size. But there you go. So the only thing left to work out now is how I'm going to do the canopies. I have made some alterations to the front of the station, uh, mainly by these corbel stones. Um, here I've shown them level virtually with the top, but what I've decided to do is drop the wall down, and so that makes that proud of the walls. So that's what I've done there. Um, more or less everything stays the same and here we have what it may look like platform side so as you come through the station we have the double doors again a window either side I'm not sure about that yet um, because I'm not sure what's going on inside this booking hall as it were but I know these two doors and windows will stay. Uh, this side will have the ladies and gents toilets and this side will have um, the ticket office. And you can see here I've added the new additions. Um, that's the thing about when you're drawing something you can you can see what looks right and what doesn't look right and um, and now's a chance to alter it. So hopefully when I come to build it, I know exactly how I want the station to go. And here we have a, a brief look at the canopy. As you can see, it's just a sloping canopy. And what I'm using here are these old Pico stanchion, iron, wrought iron can canopies. I've got loads of these left over from when I built Newhouse Station. And, um, these will look great along that platform. You can imagine about 10 of those either side and possibly one or two um, at the front. Well, yeah, in front of this back end of the station as well where this canopy comes down to meet the canopy coming across. Similar to what we've got on the front of South Shield Station. And here on the end wall, you can see where the end wall comes away from us or towards us and this six mil plinth brick plinth I'll probably have that along there as well so it follows the similar design to the South Shield stations so I'm sort of marrying ideas together here to try and um, well to bring this station more or less in line with what I've done previously, although this area here will represent the Jaro um, station, and then as for the rest of it, it's sort of well <laughs> a bit of a mismatch, but um, 
so far I'm liking the way that this has come together on the drawings so yeah the end wall is going to be slightly thicker uh, to actually house these gold bull stones so there will be four of these two at the front here and then there will be one on this side right at the back at the end of the uh, entrance of the station as we go into the station so there you go that's the, the plan um, so we've got three drawings to go by just should quickly show you the, the side walls um, you can actually see here where I've reduced the height of Broy down 10 mil and um, yeah so so this pattern will form all the way along I think I've mentioned that already but yeah so we have our three drawings I don't think I need to draw anymore um, I think I've got the basic idea here all I'll do now is put it into practice so we have gone from this photograph to this photograph to this very rare oil painting to what we have now three drawings and this is nowhere near as complex as South Shields ever was because well there's a lot less measuring countermeasuring and working out different heights of windows and things like that because I'm using basic components and you guys can do the same right so I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and I hope you enjoyed my insight on well trying to re replicate something that does not exist well it will do in a few months time but until then stay safe everybody look after yourselves I'll see you soon bye for now bye